Alrighty, howdy neighbors, and welcome back to The Crooked Man. Last time we met this kid. Uh, their name is Fluffy. So I already feel bad for the kid. Anyway, let's go. God, we have to keep walking off the kid. An IV stand. Bed. Nothing odd about it. Or so the legend goes. Yeah, see, I got some forceps on the cart. Every trash can. Doors. Nothing in them. There are things for sun on the board, but they're too messy to read. An electrocardiogram monitor. Medical equipment. Medical equipment. I wonder what this is. A device that uses ultrasonic waves. Precision medical tools. Too bad Fluffy doesn't care about any of that. Forceps, drawers, fickle. was a waste. We should see stairs, keyholes painted over. That's fun. I forgot to check the trash can in here. Right on. Oh, the door won't open. Women's restroom. Men's restroom. A public phone. Looks like there's something in the change slot. Got the F piece. I forgot about that! Okay, it's been... <laughs> it's been several days. Uh, so... Flowers are nice, so wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. The nurses know. Get close to the sky. Oh! We're in the restroom. The restroom stinks. Somehow the faucets work. I'm really thirsty. Can I have a drink? No way. This water's no good. The urinal is a putrid yellow. It smells foul. Stinky. Or stinky. Yeah, head reeks. Do you gotta go, Mr. David? No, no, I know. Oh. Hi, Mr. Bug. Yuck. There really are bugs. This place is gross. Okay, we have a stall. Jill's painted over, but we have this restroom. The wall's slightly damaged. There are fragments of concrete on concrete on the ground. The trash can is overflowing. Lost to work. There's something over there. Huh? Hey, you're right. Something's stuck in the drain. A piece. Sir David, I gotta go pee. Of course you do. Feckin' kid. Huh? Okay. I guess this is the girls' room, so you should technically go into the boys' one. I should it'll flush, though. Okay, I'll wait here. You can go by yourself, right? Yeah, I'll be good. Hey Fluffy, you okay in there? I'm peeing, hold on. Huh? What is it Fluffy, come out already. I can't open the door. What? It really won't open. Did the door just break or what? Sir David, I can't get out. I'm not gonna be stuck here forever. It's okay, Fluffy. I'll get you out of the way. Just give me a second. Is there anything 
something that can break it, do I? No. What are you? What shows us something on here? Got a small key. Will this work? I don't know what work. Well, I feel like he might help. Three digit code. Of course, I need code. Hold on, Fluffy. Men's restroom locker busted. Painted over. Hi. Got from a notebook. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self, back when I was pure. When I still thought everyone loved me. I got a little Gerard away over here. Yeah. Wasn't there a hammer on one of these that I can use to bust down that wall? Yeah, here it is. Hammer. What do we do with this? Got a hammer. Cabinet is locked. This small key will work. Will it? Unlock the cabinet. Yes! Got a key to the chemical closet. Cool, don't know where that is. Don't know where anything is at this point. Fluffy, I used crying. Ooh. Fluffy. If I use the hammer here, I should be able to get through. Should probably use that item. Fluffy, get away from the wall. I'm gonna break it through. Must be in here, I have to save him. Hi. Wait, what's her hey, what's wrong? What happened? No, no, don't come near me, I'm scared. Fluffy, it's okay, it's, it's me, David. Hi. Mr. David. Hi. Uh Hi. Oh <laughs> He's a cutie pie. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you hurt? Seriously, what happened? Why are you so damn cute? Why? Uh, I was waiting for you, Mr. David, and then I turned around and there was a guy there. And he tried to get me. A man, Fluffy, what do you look like? His neck was all lip and he was grinning. He looked at me and said, I found you. I was so scared. I hid in here. A man with a crooked neck? It's him, so he followed me here too. Damn it! Why Fluffy and not me? Cause he's tied to you. I was scared. I was so scared. It's okay, Fluffy. You did good for yourself. I'm proud of you. If he's here, then I can't let Fluffy stay here. I'll have to take him to the police. Fluffy, shouldn't we go to Mr. Policeman? It's dark and dangerous around here. I'll take you there. It'll be okay. No, I'm staying with Mr. David. I'm waiting for Mama. Fluffy, please don't be selfish. Sure, your mama went to the police too, so... No! Mama said to wait here. So I know she's gonna find me. And I'll wait for her because I'm tough. Fluffy. You may be cute. But you're a feckin' moron. If I can't find him here soon, and if Fluffy's mom doesn't show, then I'll have to take him to the sheriff. Fluffy sure won't like that, though. It's getting troublesome. I hope she shows up soon. I don't think she's gonna show up, buddy. Alright, Fluffy, we'll wait together a little longer, okay? Your mama will come soon, I know it. So hey, don't cry. You're a big boy, right? 
Don't tell Mama that I cried. Mama hates when I cry. She gets mad. I won't tell a soul. That's a promise between men. Now let's go. Okay. Hmm. Now we can just hang out. Where would a chemical closet be? There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. This crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots. And I like that song. I see. What is it, mister? Actually, I knew when I was a kid, too. But I didn't like it very much. Why not? I just felt. Oh, it just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life, and all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister. I'm sorry for singing a sad song. Uh, no, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah! Mama likes to sing, too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing, too, David? Haha, <laughs> nah, I'm not good. Better off not hearing her try. Like the chemical closet. Okay, so that's the chemical closet. Jesus. Okay. The lone diary here. That newbie Steve made a fine mess. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. I told him that stuff could eat through iron. He better pay me back for this. Medicine, 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 medicine. I can't go any higher. This is a fine waste. Cool, don't need anything in here, and I'm out. Won't open. What is it? Please, faded and hard to read. Open. Damn you, too. Okay. What is it, nurse's office next? <whistles> Got the eyepiece. Hydrogen bromide. Do I need to know the periodic table? Because that's hydrogen and bromine. Right? Do you have hydrogen bromide? Crap. Oh, I haven't looked through here. X-rays put up on the whiteboard. Small container. Lamination table. Or fetus. I don't have an embryo. A baby. It looks like a monkey. Babies are kind of like that. Serious machine. 
Doesn't work. There's no power. Mysterious machine. Click beep beep. Touch that thing. Touch it. All shelves. Beep beep. Bookshelf. Has hardly any books. Because you have a bookshelf doesn't mean you have to be like an avid reader, you know? Maybe chillin'. I don't think I fully explored the fourth floor, did I? Animation table. Some chest tubes. There's a big light over it. Big light over it. Beaker and flask. IV. Got what's some forces in the cart and Joe. getting nowhere at an alarmingly fast rate. So this, this map is unhelpful as this place is a million feet, just square feet, and this shows like 500. So unhelpful in pretty much every capacity. Good. I like how we are stopped by cans. God, can the crooked man just attack me already? Like, can we get the show on the road? Do not mourn them, do not avert your eyes. It's happier for them. I have saved them. The Flubber doesn't care about that. Flubber doesn't give a damn. this book, right? If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life from aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin into its nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. We did read that before. I'm just looking for something, man. Give me a dead cat. Fluffy does not give a single damn. Icky is right. Solitary chair. A dirty bed. 
Shells are empty. Shells are empty. Lock the counseling room. Hi. I... I'm sorry to interrupt your meeting. I would simply like to look around, so feel free to keep going. Okay. Never mind. I just saw a shadow. It was in my imagination. What's up, Mr. David? It's nothing. I see it on mental health, empty trash can. I love reading a mental health magazine. It's my favorite. Broken the refrigerator. Clock is stopped. Counseling schedules are posted. But there's no code or anything. Well, they're empty, so- Oh, there is a thing! Hi! Lone Diary here. Okay, where is... Put that right there, had to dad, looking good, got a pencil. Then we have 12, 3. At 3.35 p.m. Subject Visitor A. Warrantor? A relative in room 409. Contents they've visited after sudden change in patient's condition. The patient was hospitalized upon in oh identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy, which causes A a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. A sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. Two ten eight twenty AM Tape sixteen Tape sixteen. Oh, I should have been paying attention to the tape, shouldn't I? Fuck. Okay. Hang on now. 4-H. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that, given that she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in itself is not happy. So if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor? Or tolerated as a person of dignity. I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. Was that a storybook? No, it's not. There's a key and diary. Got the psychi psychiatry key. Tape 15. And then we just keep going. Thank you, Shadows. Where's Psychiatry? Probably somewhere in the feckin' ether over there. Go 
down here. Why not? Won't open. I think we have almost all of them, right? And a box of six annotations on top. Should get all six pieces, otherwise I don't know how to arrange them. Girl, I know. It's family. We just need M and L. So where do you have what? So I have to go to the cafeteria and look at the tables. Okay. Excuse me, Fluffy. We're sidetracking. Cafeteria. That's the cafeteria, right? Cafeteria, yeah. Something in it. Yes! The L key. The L key? F A M? Why was. Somebody can't spell. And it's not me this time. Flowers are nice, wash your hands, give me a call, the nurses know. Get close to the sky. Okay, so... Oh, right. Wrong thing. Now we have to find psych... Psychiatry. Excuse me. It's the restroom. Do patient transport. Don't need those. This way. Podiatrist. ENT. Eternity. Dermatology. Radiology. There it is. God damn. Okay. That's that's good. I I wanted that actually in in my day. That's that's totally what I wanted. Thank you. Patient's diary. John Smith is dead. It appeared he hung himself. I was no help at all. I was no help at all. It seems. All I got in the end was the suicide note. The letter placed by the diary. It appears to be the patient's suicide note. There's no chasing me, no matter where I- Oh, it's chasing me, no matter where I go. I can never escape, so I've decided to die. But I realize it's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me right now. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is- Oh, this is what it was chasing me for. But now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might start to follow you next. There's no point in running. Because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye, and thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the only one who showed me sympathy. Well, goddamn, that's a Debbie Downer. No on the bulletin board. Bed trash board. God damn it. Okay. Floor two. Middle 
bed. Floor three. Top. Trash. Floor four. Bottom. Board. What's this? Was somebody doodling? Hmm. What are these depicting? What are these numbers for? Girl, I can figure it out, okay? You should be able to, too. Like, we've been- we've been through this. Come on, now. Oh, come on, Crooked Man. Do something. I'm begging you. Spice this up. You go, girl. Spice it up. Crooked Man. Papers, I'll too messy to read. Tear off the papers. Number on the board six. Six. Come on, crooked man. I've been waiting years for you. Let's go. He's probably gonna jump scare me. Three's at the top. And the garbage. Side. Side. Nothing on the floor beneath. Turn over. One. Just so everyone knows, I am taking notes. Waiting for the goddamn crooked man who is supposed to be like the main villain of this game, yet I have seen him like twice in the past year and a half. And in the middle, on the bed. Top, dirty sheets. Look under. Seven. Seven one six. It won't open. Come on, crooked man. Damn it, crooked man. Pile of sandbags so you can't go down. Log so you can't get out. The thick wire holds the bar tight. The plugs could cut it. What do I need? I need hydrogen bromide, which is what I said, but it won't listen to me. Can we find the crooked man? <laughs> I need hydrogen bromide. <laughs> and I need the crooked man. <laughs> I need them both stabbed. <laughs> God damn it. Come on now. Give me something. Where's the closet? First floor, right? Is this one? No. Was it downstairs, first one? Yeah. Where's hydrogen bromide? Bromide, melt iron. Yes. Hydrogen bromide. Zinc. Hydrogen bromide. Yes. Now where's the crooked man?
Appetite environment will take care of it. Fluffy stand back. This could be dangerous. Okay. And he took a step back. I think this is kind of fun. Master science experiment. Whoosh. The wire melted, but the door cannot be opened. Yay, we're outside. Here, Fluffy, don't run around. Don't fall. I can't see Mama from here. She must still be looking for what she lost. I hope she... She come find me soon. She'll be here... Sure. She'll be here soon, I am sure. I know how to read. You sure love your mama, don't you? Yeah. Mom's the best. Don't you like your mama, Mr. David? Yeah. I gotta love my mama. I mean, my mother. Family is important. My mom is nice, but she's scared when she's mad. Is your mama nice? Dots. Is your mama nice? I'm home. Are you feeling better, Mom? Did you go to the hospital? Welcome home, Davy. It's just a cold. Don't blow it out of proportion. I feel a lot better after getting some rest. There's still no good side to being feeble. Sorry for always... Sorry to always be causing you trouble. Don't worry about it. We're just a family of two. Of course we have to help each other. Oh, ho you're so kind. How's... Oh, say how's it going with Shirley? She hasn't come by here lately. We haven't met much because of work. Though I'd like to talk with her more about the future and all that. She must be anxious. It's a big event in a woman's life. Be sure to support her, will you? Are you sure you're not in pain, Mom? You don't look very well. Get some sleep. I can make my own meals. What? I have such a kind son. Thank you, Davy. As long as you never call me Davy again. I ain't Davy Jones, fool. Yes. She's very kind. She always cared about me. Heh <laughs> heh. Ready to get home soon then, Mr. David. Your mama must be really worried. I suppose you're right. Same reason why yours will show up soon. Just, oh. So just wait with me until then. Yeah. There was a shiny. I'm just gonna climb it. Obviously. In here. And peace. I got them all. I did it. Alright, let's read this. What happens if I just don't? Old newspaper. Psychiatrist said, uh, Strawford Hospital commits suicide. Early this morning, a doctor employed at Strawford General Hospital was found dead by a nurse. He was discovered hanged, so police deemed it a suicide. Is that the boy? Here comes the boy. Is he eating the model? I hope he is. Hello, boy. What is he doing? Don't get closer, idiot. Eek. Is, is it? Is it eating the embryo model? <laughs> yeah, good job, idiot. Good, idiot, Mr. David, idiot. Oh no, stay away. <laughs> job, idiot. Fluffy, I gotta chase the monster. My head, I'm bleeding. I'm so dizzy. But I don't give a single fuck. Good 
There he is. Fluffy. And I go back. If, uh, no, I don't want to stay away. Stay away. Do something about that thing. Maybe he's just against the monster. Just whack it over the head. Yeah, do it. Get it from Fluffy. <laughs> David, you fucking moron. Mr. David. Fluffy. You're not hurt. Nope, I'm fine. Sorry, Mr. David. It was my fault that you you got hurt, Mr. David. No, it was Mr. David being a feckin' moron. It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't do anything wrong. Mr. David. Bye, Mr. David. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner. You crying? Way to help me out, dude. Mr. David. Did I pass out? My head still hurts. Stupid monster. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? Nope. I'll be fine too. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy. I, I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Oh, come on, buddy. It's okay. It'll be okay. We have a dumbass in Mr. David, so... Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure your mother's there, so... I told Mama I'd wait. Mama said she was proud of me, so I'll, I'll wait for her. Mama wouldn't lie. She's going to come for me. So I have to wait here. Dots. He really should be with the sheriff. But he just won't listen. If you try to force him, he'll just run. Pick him up! Just... Because we showed you can carry heavy things. You have a whole arsenal in your pockets. Just hoist the kid and go. Put a little more time. Then I'll force him to go if I have to. I wonder what his mom's doing. I'm going to stand behind like this. I can't believe some people. And what's that monster up to? He was just me before, but now he's just up to Fluffy. He's killing his younger self. I don't think I could possibly know. I need to protect him from being attacked. Maybe I should find a weapon somewhere. You're a good kid, Fluffy. Putting up with all this. You're really great. But your mom is really glad. Well, a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. No more monsters? I can't say, but I'll protect you if there are. So don't wander away from me, okay? Okay, I'll stay with you, mister. He's kind of the reason the monster is here. So I don't- Woof my HP. This boss fight's gonna suck. Okay, where was the box? F A M I L Y. F A M I L Y. Here we go. F A M I L Y. Got a safe key. Unlock the safe. Unlock the safe. Got a revolver and pistol ammo. What the hell kind of bull? <laughs> ah, gun safety with games. Here we go. First of all, crooked man. Hi, Sir David. Monster, Sir David, help. 
Love you over here. No. I'm scared of I don't wanna I don't wanna fluffy get over here. I don't want them to come near you. God fucking damn it, Fluffy. Fluffy. I'm off to Fluffy. I'm surrounded by two dumbasses. That's what we're doing here. I'm gonna guess they're on the roof because Fluffy's an idiot. Yep. Fluffy. No, no. No, no, no. Stay away, Mr. David Hill. Over here, Fluffy. Don't let it get in. Oh. Ah, my way. Mr. David Help. Yeah, it really is after Fluffy. Why? Fluffy, listen. Don't let it get you. Run away. I'll take care of it. Okay. There we go. Can't shoot a kid. Come on. Fluffy, you're really not helping me out here. Thanks, kid. Okay. Here we go. Come on. No! No, no, no! Oh, no, no! Oh, God! Oh, no! shot a kid. Okay. Well, don't put that on my resume, please. <laughs> uh, this is a hard boss fight. And I got an achievement for it. <sighs> okay. I got it. And I'll come near Fluffy again while I just kick him off the building. That's funny. Whew. I don't know how many times I shot it. But not even it would it could survive that. Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Were you hurt? Oh no, grey eyes. Why? Huh? Oh, it's so scary. But I kept hanging in there, and I just want to go home. But why won't Mama come? Does Mama hate me? I was joking about that in the beginning, but maybe. Fluffy! Mama hates me, so she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted child. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not. It... Oh. It's not your... You... Going to Mr. Policeman. I see. Okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine. I can go there myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone at... Alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own. Even if Mama isn't there. If the mama isn't there, I won't cry. Wait. Headache? My head feels like it's gonna explode. Oh. 
Fluffy. He left on his own. No, Fluffy. Your mother doesn't hate you. It's you who lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? R wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know. I've been kind of wondering that myself. We should go home. There's no point in this. Nothing. Nothing will change. Is a crooked man about to show up? Sorry, Fluffy. Let's go home, David. We'll see the crooked man's corpse outside because you threw him off the feckin' building. That sounds like a woman's voice. Could be Fluffy's mother. So she did come for him. That's good. What if she and Fluffy pass by each other? The voice has come from the clinic side. I should check it out. Idiot! Let me guess, it's the room we haven't yet. Who's that over there? It's gonna be your mama, isn't it? Hey, who are you? Yep. Cause it's a crooked man. Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? It's not. Mom, how can you be here? Hey, hospitals, you're my family. Has you abandoned me? No, you were sick, Mom, so. So you left me? My own family couldn't stand me anymore? No, no, you're wrong. Oh. Who are you? My mom could possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It's a crooked man. It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. What? You're gonna try to kill me again? I hate David. <laughs> He is unlikable. He just went right to my sin list. It hurts so much, Davy. So Davy just lost his mind. Who are you? Why are you in my house? What do you do with my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. I keep saying... Oh, you keep saying things like that. Dad left it a long time ago, okay? Did you forget? Shut up! Intruder! I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the police on you. Stop it. Don't tell me you already... Oh, you're already going senile. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm bothered. Shut up. Keep your mouth shut. Do you think I know you? Get out of here. Stop. What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did anything wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom. Quiet. I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out. Enough. Uh, murderer. Somebody murderer. David, hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop, let her go. Are you trying to kill her? David. What the fuck? It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting significant pressure on her brain. Sudden changes of behavior, violent action, and memory loss uh, can be signs of brain disease. Well, I hate that. <laughs> it 
It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in the family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner. Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We have to postpone the operation for now. Hospital hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please, come by and see her often. Even if she doesn't even know you, she is family. No. We're not a family anymore. Don't, don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped, just like that, I would have... I would never have forgiven... I would never have been forgiven for that. There really was hatred in me. And it's true I've been her in the hospital. She was the only family. My precious mother who cared for me. After my father left, and yet I... Got told by the crooked man that you suck. My wishes never came true. My dreams, love, and family all go away. Have, I d can't have anything that's not crooked. You are the crooked man. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. It was there only... Oh, there was only one way from the very beginning. Scene 3. Central Hospital. Fluffy. End. Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what should we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, you can hold yourself. I gotta be calm about this. David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He is even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear. That didn't help, now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? What would that room be? Uh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. You're always talking about how you see things and... David. David, where are you? They've been in a hospital. In Stafford. Why are the way over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. David. Hey, David. Yeah, he's in Stafford. Probably take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marion, go to get David. I'll go with you. David is my friend. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. <coughs> David's car. He's still gotta be here. And it's still parked incredibly stupidly. Come on, Marion. It's dark. So stay close to me. Alright. Where's our motorcycle? You don't need that. Those footsteps? They were from upstairs. Hey, you, David? I know where he is. Okay. 
Kitties. Oh no, it's awful. I don't think David. Oh come on. Why would he do something like that? This was a crazy dude. God. Don't look, Marion. It's not good for your health. Hi. Who's there? What are you doing there? Sissy? Good girl. Hey, what are you doing in this odd place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who are you? What's this about? Go see him. Now, what the hell was that? Was that D? Someone else, David? Hey, who are you? A shady punk is who he is. Yo! What the hell? What are you doing here alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on to save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Yeah, because we gotta get a beer with you later. What? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Why isn't Marion trying to stick up a conversation? Because she seems to love that. He's probably on the roof. Which one to bet he's on the roof? Like a fucking moron. I'm going to end the episode here and then go check the roof. So thank you everybody very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you later.